In this video, we're going to talk about McMaster Car. McMaster Car is like Ace Hardware, but online and a way better selection. They are the king of hardware online, and they should probably be your first stop anytime you need to find hardware. There are some other sites, but McMaster is the king. Everyone knows them, everyone uses them, and you should too. So let's take a quick look at McMaster and see what they have to offer. Probably the most common thing that we use McMaster for is screws, but there's so much more. Um, we also buy uh, ball bearings, um, dowel pins, rubber feet, latches, handles, um, uh, stock material, you know, sheets of plastic or blocks of metal. Uh, so many different things that you can get on McMaster. You can buy adhesives here like uh, super glues, you can get Velcro, uh, you can get eye bolts, um, just uh, hundreds and hundreds if not thousands and thousands of different kinds of hardware that you can buy. So when I say we use it mostly for screws, yes that's true, but we also use it for quite a bit more. Um, you can get gears and pulleys and shaft collars. Uh, the, the list just goes on and on and on. So this is a great website, a great vendor that you should familiar, familiarize yourself with. Um, one of the huge benefits of McMaster is not just their incredible selection, it's, uh, it, it's how everything is organized. I have never seen a hardware website organized anywhere close to as well as they do it on McMaster. So I'll give you an example here. Let's say that you need to find a particular fastener. Let's say you want to find a socket head cap screw, uh, 1032 stainless steel, one inch long. Uh, that could be kind of a pain on some of the other websites out there. Like you can buy this on Amazon or uh, like Granger or some of the other hardware sites like that, but it's a little bit more cumbersome to find things. Here at McMaster, um, uh, I know that, that screws and bolts is right here in the beginning, so I could click right there. But if I didn't know that, I could just type in fasteners. <clears throat> and here are my socket head cap screws right there. So I click on that. They have pictures for just about everything. And then I come down here to all the different filter options and I scroll down to 1032. And so this gives me my 1032 screws. I want a stainless steel. So I click stainless steel. And there are even a few different categories within stainless steel. Let's say 18.8 is usually the, the least expensive stainless steel option and that's something that we commonly use. So I'll say 18.8 and we want one inch long, so we go to our length filter, click one inch. And let's say we want fully threaded, <clears throat> um, we don't want to finish, we don't care too much about that. Uh, right hand, that's the, the typical. And so now we have, we're presented with these final options here. We have just the standard uh, socket head cap screw, we've got mill spec, we've got low profile, we've got thread locking insert, We've got these wire lockable versions, um, screws with split lock washers on them, screws with a sealing element on them, and vented screws. So we've already done a lot to specify exactly what we want, and still McMaster has all these different options that we could select. So I'm just going to select this one, and uh, it gives us a few more options still here. Fully threaded, fully threaded, fully threaded, so let's see what's the difference. The difference is the finish, it looks like. We've got uh, uh, black oxide, chrome plated, or just the, the bare bones, no particular finish, 18.8 stainless steel. Um, so uh, it's something interesting to note is that uh, I guess one downside with McMaster is that you can't order just like two screws or five screws. Well, sometimes you can get five screws, but typically, they come in uh, package quantities of 50 or 100, so you can see this one here is 100. Uh, this one's only 25, so if we only needed a few screws, I might just get this one because it's cheaper and we don't need 100 screws. That is one downside, and, and people might say, well, you know, why pay $13 for 100 screws or $6.90 for 25 screws if I only need two screws and I can go down to Ace Hardware and buy that for, you know, a dollar or whatever it is. That's true, but 
consider the amount of time that you're spending to go to Ace or wherever, Home Depot, you know, whatever you're going, uh, and actually purchase those two components. You're, you're probably going to spend, you know, 10, 15 minutes driving there, another 5, 10 minutes finding the parts, uh, another few minutes checking out and getting back to your car, and then another 10, 15 minutes driving back to your office. So, you know, you're, you're into it for... Uh, easily 30 minutes if not 45 minutes and with typical engineering rates being what they are you know you, you might be paying I don't know 75 bucks an hour 100 bucks an hour 150 dollars an hour for engineering time your customer anyway might be paying that um, that being the case you're, you're spending a lot more than the the difference between the actual uh, part cost at, at uh, your local hardware store versus uh, McMaster so it almost always it's more cost effective to just buy more than you need from McMaster and you can do whatever you want to with the rest uh, so anyway that's that's a quick overview of McMaster um, another fantastic feature of McMaster is that they supply you with CAD models for almost everything I'd say I don't know 95 percent of the hardware that that I've looked at on McMaster has a CAD model associated with it and all you do is you click the the part number and this little drop down appears and it gives you an option to see product detail and download a CAD model so if I click on that here's the product details gives you all the dimensions uh, some other information here and then right here you have this drop down 3D SolidWorks that's what we use so SolidWorks is what I would choose but there's some other options as well you can choose iGES or PDF or STEP. Uh, iGES and STEP are, are CAD neutral formats. You could open those formats with, with any uh, CAD system, whether it's Pro-E or NX or Solid Edge or whatever, CATIA, Fusion 360, all that stuff. But we use SolidWorks, and uh, uh, SolidWorks is, is the most popular CAD program out there, so that's probably why they have it listed here. Anyway, uh, and then you save it, and uh, you can open up uh, a CAD model, and it's wonderful. We use it all the time because it's really important to be able to see your hardware in the context of your CAD assembly. Uh, so that's another huge benefit of McMaster. Also, we have found that their shipping speeds are excellent. We usually have parts the very next day. Um, uh, so that's, uh, that's another huge, huge positive. Um, let's see, some other things. What, what else can we look at here? I don't know. Let's type in uh, dowel pins. So dowel pins are something that a mechanical designer would use fairly often. Uh, maybe we want a uh, maybe a, a number 10 size. Oh, it's a pin number. Uh, number 10, that would be 3 16 so 1875. 1875. 316s, there we go. So we want a 316 dowel pin. Uh, sure, alloy steel, half an inch long. And there we go. We've got uh, alloy steel or a black oxide alloy steel. A few different options there. Again, click the part number. Gives you an option to see the product details. And you can download a 3D CAD model. So there you go. McMaster Car, fantastic resource. Um, absolutely get to know their website and uh, the different kinds of products they offer because it will be one of your best friends as a mechanical designer. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.